Hi friends, in this video I will cover the form array of form builder. Sometime in, the, in some forms we need to have the feature to add some dynamic fields. In that situation we face difficulty is to, uh, to uh, render the field and do the validation on those uh, along with the existing other fields of the forms. Suppose in my case we have a registration form and here we have some generic fields like email, password, confirm password and to explain these form, uh, form array I have added one attribute hobbies. So user can have multiple hobbies say in this case I will have uh, I may have the hobbies to uh, reading book and here I will I'll write um, like I read books regularly. may also have some other hobbies so in that case say uh, soccer so let's say I love to play soccer this kind of things and here we have uh, may have multiple many more hobbies so in this case how to handle the validation part so uh, if you have done this kind of validation previously you may know that it's a kind of complex situation where we have to do this kind of validation where we have a form we have a form group uh, using the form builder so uh, here the form array comes pretty handy so I'll show you now uh, in the TS file uh, so before before that so this is the template part where I have the form group and the form array here I'm saying that form array name will be hobbies and since it will be uh, multiple uh, fields user can add multiple n numbers of fields so it will be an array so uh, it will be uh, go through a loop right so let me go to the ts file here I have a form builder form group defined using the form builder and here I have the hobby property so this is the hobby property <coughs> and here I'm creating one form builder array. In this array, I have a group. So uh, it's basically group inside a group. Here I'm uh, I have mentioned like the field will be hobby name and hobby detail. Uh, both are the required field and initial value is blank. So this is enough to render one field there. So that's why I can see one field is already there. Not one field, but uh, two fields with one row that is the hobby name and hobby details as we have mentioned in create hobby section so that's the initial part so the form is loaded that's fine now the validation part how it will work so that's the only thing you need to do to render the first field in the html part what we have the form array and the repeat here <coughs> We will be mentioning the form control name as simply hobby name and hobby detail that's all it will work as expected no uh, other kind of index handling or anything is required so here we have the index uh, like here i'm showing uh, the hobby one hobby two like this uh, this one and also this index i'm using to uh, show the error messages like inside hobbies we if for the control one the uh, control zero if hobby name is having error and that's required error it will be showing like hobby is required and same goes for hobby detail if the detail we have error and we have uh, the required error there it will be showing the message and uh, like this we can add multiple type of message here it's this is for error and you may have some max length or this kind of error message there that's pretty fine now this is the simple situation here with this will be uh, will be rendering the fields <clears throat> now the addition part here you can see here we have a add hobby link and here user click on the add hobby link it will it will uh, add one extra row with the name and detail property here you can see what we have there in hobbies this is the hobby so it's only as you can see it's the form array <clears throat> so here I'm pushing one property and what this is the same property uh, uh, as uh, when I have created the form at that time we used the create uh, hobby and currently also I'm using create hobby so these both are same and I'm pushing this in the hobbies 
so essentially it will be same reflecting the same thing and that's why the loop will be increased by one and one extra row will be adding there and same goes for remove hobby will be remove add will be passing the index and just remove add it will be using that so that's the thing i'll show you again in the view part so this one this one you can see hobby one hobby two if i want to remove this it will working perfectly so uh, that's the form array of form builder so hopefully it will be helpful for someone thank you